So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another chart related video. This time I'm going to do an ARIA chart. And I'm going to show different versions of ARIA charts that you can create with Charticulator. Let's get started. Okay, so it's not difficult to create chart, uh, ARIA charts in Charticulator, but it's not as easy as you might think, or you don't do it the way that you might think you do it. So <laughs> let me show you, and uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, we have Northwind data set, the one that we always use, and I have a table with year, sales, and category name, okay? And the chart, the array chart I'm going to show you is how to create this one. Actually, this one, when you have more than one category. But there are other options on creating area charts. You can have like this um, superimposed area chart where you can see this year previous versus previous year, for example, or you could have like a small multiples kind of version that is quite neat. So there are different ways to do this, right? Um, so I'm going to show you the most common one. First of all, just download the latest version of Charticulator. It's been um, certified now in Power BI, so make sure that you get the latest one. It's also more stable. So you go to create charts and you put everything on data up there there you go okay so now we have everything that we need in um, Charticulator now we're going to have a year and category so we're going to put as categorical year on the x-axis and then you might think that oh I then I create a line chart and then a color below kind of thing not really so the area will be made by links and that's what it makes it a bit peculiar so if I put a rectangular in here, you will see that it's given us the sales for each category and each year. So each of these bars is a category, it's a point on the data set. We don't want it to have it like that, we want it to have it um, vertical, so we can actually make an area chart, you'll see why in just a second, you see. If I now put sales as height, it starts to look like the data itself, and if I make now the shape a little bit... Uh, thinner it's just because you will be able to see the links better that's the only reason why I'm doing this now we're going to start creating the area so I'm going to do a link by band so band instead of a line joining the elements it will be a like a rectangle joining the elements and I'm going to do it by category name and as you can see it makes it perfect and uh, I am going to center, if you see the bar charts are not starting in the middle of the uh, year, we do definitely want that, otherwise it's going to look super weird. So you go to the chart and then on these options you're going to check the one in the middle, so it goes to the middle. Now we're going to make the shape invisible, it's not actually invisible, you'll see a small line if you t pay attention to it. I don't think it's like a very very bad thing, sometimes you do want to have highlight even the band. But, so if you want to color these now, you need to color the link, because that is what you're actually seeing, the rectangle is actually gone. And now to make it a normal area chart, you will get rid of the gap in the y-axis so you just go to the gap and then turn it off and then you can create a line on top just to differentiate the areas better so if you go here and create a line category now instead of an arc you're going to get a line and you want to have it on the top at the top not on the middle or at the bottom if you would like that you can and then again on link 2 we're going to do category name so it gets the same color and link 2 is always go is going to be the line and this is going to be the shape. And that's all you need to do, you save and there you have your area chart. So it's actually not like very very difficult but it's not probably the way that you would expect it. And you can see barely see a small line in there which again it's not always a bad thing, but if you don't want it, there's no way to get rid of it. So hopefully this helps you understand how to create area charts. And then I will share the file with you so you can see how I did these other charts. It's actually fairly easy. So you will see that on the Kerbal Download Center and then Charticulator. 
and I'm not sure which number it's going to be, but it will be in the description box and on the title so you can get the right file. Okay, I will see you again hopefully next week with another Charticleer video.